Good morning, friends. My name is Miss Alicia, and I am so excited to share with you one of my favorite winter stories today. We are going to be reading a story about a lost piece of clothing and a bunch of animal friends. Does anyone know what story I'm talking about? We are going to read The Mitten by Jan Brett. This is a classic and it was one of my very favorite stories as a little girl. So let's just get started. The Mitten by Jan Brett. And we would like to say thank you to GP Putnam Sons and um, Penguin Random House for letting us read this story to you today. The Mitten. Once, there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. I don't know if I would want white mittens. What do you think? At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went. And it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Can you see his mitten? Can you find it? It's right there. And pay attention to the illustrations in this book. It's one of the really cool things about this book and all of her books is if you pay attention to these corner panels, side panels, It'll give you a clue what's coming next. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Do you see him? He's right there. And what do we think is coming next? I told you there'd be clues in the panels. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. There's both of them in the mitten. Do we see what's coming next? Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Hedgehog and the hare. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they let him in. Look at how full that mitten is getting. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Do you see his 
really big claws. That mitten is getting pretty full. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. What does drowsy mean? Sleepy. Oh. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. That is one full mitten. And do we see what's coming next? Oh my goodness, do you think that, that he's gonna fit in the mitten? We'll see. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Do we think the mitten's gonna make it or do you think it's gonna rip? I don't know, or do you think Mickey's gonna find it? Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Look at that. That is a very full mitten. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 chew! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animal in all directions. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. Do you see it? There it is. And look at the animal. They got blown all over the place after that sneeze. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. The ends, look at this last page. There's Nikki, and there's Baba, and look at the mittens. Do they look the same? He still has both his mittens, but do they both look the same? They don't, do they? One is all stretched out from all of those animals. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story today, and I hope you keep following along. We have a lot more fun winter stories for you this month, and we hope you have a wonderful December, and I will see you all later. Bye.